The latest crime statistics reveal an increase in murders in South Africa by 1.4%. More than 21,000 people were killed in the past financial year, which amounts to 58 people a day. Sexual offences are also up by 800 cases. Police Minister Peggy Kele released uh, the uh, annual statistics in Pretoria today. National Police uh, Commissioner, I think uh, we will go that to very... OK, we did give you breaking uh, news a bit earlier on. Apologies, let's go to that first. Uh, uh, we've just got news uh, just coming in that uh, the uh, wife of a uh, former uh, government minister has been arrested for alleged uh, fraud... I beg your pardon, for alleged uh, assault and uh, malicious uh, damage to property. It's understood she was arrested this afternoon and is currently in police uh, custody in Pretoria. For more on this breaking story, we're joined by the Hawks uh, spokesperson, Hangwani Mulawuti. Mr. Mulawuti, thank you very much for your time this evening. First of all, can you confirm for us uh, that uh, uh, the wife of a government minister has been arrested this afternoon? Uh, good evening, Griselda, and uh, listening to uh, and everybody at home. Um, yeah, look, we, we can confirm. We can confirm that we executed a warrant of arrest this afternoon, where a former, uh, of course, as you put it, uh, has been um, has been arrested. And as you would know, the protocols would not allow us to name the suspect before he, she appears in court. So these are allegations of uh, malicious pro uh, damage to property, assault. There are other uh, investigations that were still uh, uh, doing um, because of the fact uh, that uh, there was uh, uh, enough proof for us to be able to apply for a search warrant. The magistrate granted that, and hence we have uh, managed to execute it today. Uh, Mr. Malawuti, when did you receive uh, this complaint? Well, the, well, we have been working on something uh, which we cannot uh, mention now. Um, the complaint has been with us for some time. Uh, we are still busy working on that, on those allegations. There were these matters that uh, transpired this week, uh, which necessitated us to be able to go straight to the magistrate to ask for a, a warrant of arrest uh, based on the severity of the, the case and the charges that were, were laid. Uh, against them, uh, then uh, it was granted. Um, and uh, we, we are of the view that uh, most of the information uh, will only be revealed once she appears in court. Mr. Molawuti, um you're saying that you've been investigating this for a while. So yeah. I would then imagine that uh, this alleged incident relating to uh, assault and malicious, malicious damage to property had happened uh, some time ago. Yeah, look, um, to put it clear or to put it uh, simply is that there has been a, a, a um, complaint that was uh, directed to us. It was transferred or um, referred to us for further investigation. Uh, the warrant of arrest today is just one part of those investigations that we were working on. So it then means then that there is still a lot that we still have to look at uh, as part and parcel of our own going investigation. So hence we ask once we finalize those uh, uh, investigations, that is when we'll be able to put it uh, in the public space. Are you saying that she could face more charges? There is a possibility for that, yes. All right. So when is she likely to appear in court? Uh, I do understand she... that the accused is currently at police cells in Pretoria. Of course, yes, uh, we can confirm that uh, she's going to appear in court on Monday and in Hartfield. All right. So uh, facing two charges at the moment, uh, alleged uh, assault and malicious damage to property, uh, yes. but could face additional charges uh, as you continue with your investigations. Yeah. Just a final question, Mr. Mulawuti. Would this perhaps uh, be related uh, to, I know you cannot mention the name, but could this perhaps be related uh, to an incident uh, that uh, uh, we've seen uh, going viral on social media about an alleged assault incident uh, that had taken place involving a vehicle? Uh, or damage to property incident? Mr. Mulawuti? All right, uh, we seem to have lost uh, the Hawks uh, spokesperson. Is this uh, Mr. Mulawuti, are you still there? All right. Mr. Mulawuti, uh, 
can, all right, it seems like uh, has gone the Hawks uh, spokesperson, Hangwani Mulawuti. Uh, breaking news here on the SABC News Channel. The wife of a former government minister arrested uh, this afternoon in Pretoria on alleged uh, assault and uh, malicious uh, damage uh, to property um, uh, charges. We understand that she will be appearing in court on uh, Monday. And uh, it seems that while those uh, two uh, uh, charges uh, uh, she's currently facing at this particular point, there could be more charges uh, that she faces. The Hawks confirming that to us on the programme just a few moments ago. We'll give you more on that story as it all unfolds.